In today's episode, I will be showing you how to build this beautiful aircraft in the KSP-2 and then we will be performing some flight shenanigans and we will try to land on the island runway just to see how it looks and what it plays out. So, let's get into the building. We are in Kerbal Space Program 2, a game that launched yesterday and we are going to be using this Mark II cockpit to some build some beautiful plane that you saw in the intro. So. Uh, the first things first, I want to go and start with the co cockpit, then I'm gonna use a small cargo bay. And typically, I in the cargo bay, I like to put some batteries, I like to put some reaction wheels, and then I'm gonna be placing some RTGs just to generate power. So, I'm just lo now looking at the parts. I'm trying to find a good methane tank, because that one will be obviously the jet fuel tank. And then I'm gonna try and find if I can find this small methalox fuel with the coupler and I'm gonna empty it out of the oxidizer or maybe I just keep it. Okay, uh, we have the rapiers engine, we have the vectors. I'm looking for something, yeah, let's take off the oxidizer and I'm looking for jet engines. I'm gonna go actually with the panthers. Uh, Panthers are good and orbital engine while uh, Whiplash is more for high flying planes. So I don't plan to fly high. I'm just gonna do shenanigans around the KSC. So I figured might as well take this one. All right. So inside we said we want to go and put place some reaction wheels and batteries. So first let's go with the batteries. I'm gonna be placing two batteries. Then let's go uh, two RTGs. They provide, you know, electricity and also some mass forward. So we close the cargo bay and I think it's fine. Actually, reaction wheels, you don't need to place them because, well, they're not helping when you're flying here. So in KSP-1, it was actually pretty mandatory to have them, but nowadays, nah, not really. Okay, let's take the intakes. I'm gonna be placing them somewhere here-ish. We have to have intake here, and I actually do like that design. I mean, it, it, it really feels like it should be there. Uh, then I'm gonna be placing the small wings, which I'm gonna tailor, of course. Center of pressure, center of mass, well, yeah. Okay, so what I'm planning, I usually like my planes to have a big delta wing with the small canards in front. So that's kind of the design that I'm gonna go here as well. Yeah, uh, by the way, part manager, well, I don't know, that's gotta go. I think when I I'm right-clicking one part, I don't want the list of all parts, I just want that part. And uh, yeah, I know that I'm set in my ways, but uh, it, it would be manageable if uh, everything else was folded and it was really small, but this uh, part manager takes a big chunk of the screen and it takes ages to load, so unless you find uh, it, devs, unless you find a way to find it a little bit less obtrusive than it is, well, I don't know, in my opinion it's gotta go. Um, do let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. Right, okay, so uh, that being said, I'm just gonna move these wings just to modify them by a little bit. Okay, I'm thinking of moving them forward. Why doesn't it want to? Uh, because I think I'm not in that section. Okay, so, no, I think I have to, yeah, you have to close the error procedural. Then it will allow you to do things. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go into the... I, I really love this uh, this way that you can actually take top approach, bottom, right hand side. This, this is just gold, guys. It's, it's, it's amazing. Alright, so let me look for canards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with wings. I want to go with all moving wings, so small control surface. And that one, do you see how it, it places my center of mass and center of lift so nicely aligned? It's downright amazing. Right, so I need something for the the tail, and for that I actually need the wing, not the stabilizer, I believe. Uh, for that I will need more like a wing, or stabilizer. Hmm. It's a good question. Let's go with the wing. Uh, I think it's just too big. What about if I place the stabilizer? Those are huge. And they only painted from one side. Um, yeah. Nope, those are better. Okay, stabilizer it is. Can the stabilizer have the control? Yeah, they can. Okay, fair enough. Then we're gonna go with the stabilizers. Okay, uh, right now they're angled a little bit 
angling is a little bit crooked I need to fix that so hold on let's see where is my we take it from the top we take this wing and then we're gonna rotate it I need to toggle the rotation I look it's so easy when you can have a top-down view I mean that's this devs is one of the most significant improvements that I've seen to the VAB to date I mean it's 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 really great right okay so easy see how it was easy for me to actually do that all right now error tip procedural tip angle uh, I want to actually go into the advanced settings because what I want to make sure is that my control surface hold on yeah it looks good tip angle thickness span maybe smaller a little bit of the control surface but what I'm really looking for I'm looking for maybe advanced controls ah there it is I want to disable pitch and roll on the tail so that it only controls your and on the wings obviously it controls everything else but oopsie daisy okay uh, wings yes can I get the okay yeah this is the yaw fine and let me see on the wings I want to make sure that on the flux wing we deploy angle we put a 15 not 20 because that's I, I feel that control authority is too much to be honest so it's a little it would be a little bit you know flappy uh, let's see deploy angle I'm thinking around 14 15 is good enough what I'm missing is the ability to enter the value manually and we will disable the yaw here okay on both wings it's disabled and then on the forward flaps the conversion ones we're gonna remove also the yaw authority deploy angle 15 that's for sure and disable the yaw good so that actually takes care of our plane I'm just double checking that it is done in symmetry and it is good uh, center of lift center of mass look good enough I'm gonna place small wings winglets or stabilizers at the bottom just to drag that center of lift a little bit more downwards so we don't get the momentum but let's see landing gear oh I think that's actually a small landing gear maybe it's too small for this plane yeah and it's crooked okay and here I'm gonna be placing I'm thinking medium landing gear because I want a good standoff between the wheels and I don't know how much messed up they are so uh, I also noted from Matt Lowne's video that you want to turn off the auto friction control on the first wheel otherwise you're gonna get uh, yeah you're gonna get a Kraken attacking you so the wheels I think I should be placing them this orientation and little closer to the center of mass so that we can pivot around them and then that means that I should probably putting the small landing gear up front yeah that actually would make a plane level good that's the whole idea okay so the utility I'm actually thinking of putting some lights on the plane yeah I need a little bit of the lights let's say these on the on the wing tips so that we have like you know navigation lights or call them whatever you want I mean but that's the shtick good and then I'm thinking two small reflectors pointing forward highlighting the wheel and the runway good uh, I think that's good enough I don't need more advanced lighting than that actually it's good enough right okay so uh, I'm trying to see if I can find air brakes because at the moment I don't see if there are any air brakes control surfaces by the way guys if any of you know about air brakes do let me know in the cam in the in the comments below uh, for now I think I'm gonna go without the air brakes so this one is not gonna be called fly safe this one is a test plane yeah also I'm thinking maybe I should strut things a little bit I, I want to increase the rigidity of it so I'm gonna play some struts although I don't like the idea I'm thinking still it should probably be done so let me strut the wings okay the wings are strutted and should I strut the forward canards probably not all right good let's try and launch this sucker and here we go this is by the way the new view called I think is horizon or something looks really cool doesn't it and look at it 
I have disabled the SAS, so I'm flying the plane by the seat of my keyboard. Look at it go. Oh, and I really, one thing that I really have to emphasize when it comes to KSP2, I love the music. Music is fantastic. When you're doing this, it's this epic music you know, that you're going places, that you're going to do something cool, motivating, really. It's, I really like it. And shall we do something cool? Yeah, I'm actually thinking, I know that there is a bridge. And you know what we do when there is a bridge in KSP? Well, we fly under it, hopefully. Rich me, Richwing, I hope you will become the first Kerbal to successfully fly under the... Yes, look at you go. Richming, you are the first Kerbal who made it out alive. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it, please ignore the green specks on the left and the right of the arch because, well, yeah, conspicuous green substance, I believe, is the term. Right, look at the plane, how beautiful it is. It is tilting a little bit downwards, but I'm, I have to look if there is a way where I could adjust trim. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with this design. It really looks cool. Yeah, uh, also, I mean, this is actually day two when I'm recording this after the launch. And I want to tell you guys, this actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with the plane. And uh, what you've been asking about when it comes to performance, uh, it's not stellar, but it's decent. As you can see, it is playable. But look at this now. I pressed the parts manager and the game halted for like two seconds. That needs to go. So, yeah. And I know that there's a lot of people I saw that the KSP ads as of Saturday has mixed reviews. And I think it's rightfully so. But I don't think... I, I actually think that it's just a little bit more we need to devs, give devs the time. Because I think currently... There are a lot of unnecessary calculations, and I think if we, the devs fix those, that the game will be much more performant, so, yeah. Right. Really, the two things that I love about KSP2, why I think it's amazing, I love the lighting, it's beautiful, I love the textures, I love the graphics, and I love the music. It's just amazing. Uh, Physics-wise, I mean, there are some still Kraken is alive and well and more dangerous than ever. I guess the devs really pissed him off in terms of <laughs> saying that they wanted to slay them. So they said basically, you know what? Here I am. Yeah. Uh, it almost reminds me of a song by Brian Adams. The Kraken plus, you know, singing, Here I am, this is me. There's nowhere else on Earth I'd rather be than in KSP2. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Sorry, but I know that I'm very bad at singing, so I'm gonna stop now. Anyway, we are going to the island runway, and I think, well, here, honestly, the textures could improve, and I would very much like to see this executed a little bit better, so to say. I mean, when I, when I look at the island, the island itself looks cool. But uh, when I'm looking at the runway, I'm not seeing any detail. I might be wrong. Let me just quickly check how does it look. The KSC, I really like. The only remark that I have currently is that the runways are very aliased. I would like that my setting, which is eight times anti-aliasing setting on the, uh, which is visible on the plane itself, but it's not visible on the runway for some reason. Why? I have absolutely no idea. Devs, if you're watching this, please check it out. Alright. There is our plane. It's going and it's going beautiful. I really like how it's being controlled and the wheels are feel definitely less, I would say, clunky or whatever you want to call it. Okay, getting ready, cutting the throttle and final flare. 90 meters per second, a little bit more, and yeah. Okay, pressing the brake. Easy on the brakes, dude. Whew. What, do you have ABS or something? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, um, I, I mean, it's fair. I'm going 20 meters per second, so that's a lot. So, yeah. Let's taxi over to the uh, to the hangar. As I said, this runway could have done been done a little bit better. I'm I don't mind that it's like you know gravel runway or something, 
but I really feel this needs some additional love. And uh, where's the old tower? I mean, not to be really nitpicky about it, but I would really like to have had old tower. I mean, it would be cool if somebody in the space, if we were playing space agencies and multiplayer in the future, and that some could actually launch off the island runway. I think that would be really cool. All right. I mean, those are just minor gripes and minor, you know, thoughts that I could, where I could see KSP2 improve over its predecessor. Notification is uh, plane lost control. Yeah, it should be losing control when the Kerbal is out. I mean, that's a given. So yeah, all right. Let's go out. All right, jump it down, buddy. We need to take selfie for today. That's nice selfie. Hold on. Yeah, you're fixing your helmet? All right. Yeah, okay. For a little further, a little further. There we go. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna use this as a screenshot for today or I'm gonna use another one. Oh, you're dancing. Ooh. Either that or moving furniture, as one of my commenters said in the previous Kerbal Behaviors window. Well, what can you do? All right, guys, so um, all in all, if you found this video to be helpful, please fling a like at uh, this video and uh, that lets me know that you're enjoying my content. Ooh, I, I, am I boring to you? I mean, I'm sorry. I gotta talk to my, you know, to my crew, so all right. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, if you find this video helpful, do fling a like at it. That lets me know and helps me out with the almighty audience. Sorry, I'm not going to say algorithm, but yeah, that lets other people know that this video might be worth checking out. Let's plant a flag and then we will be wrapping it up. Okay, stick it there, buddy. There you go. Okay, hope you liked it and I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Grumforks signing off.